there's been a lot of complications during the course of this year. What's it like now just to have things finally simple, win two games at home and you're in the playoffs? Thanks, Big Dog. Uh, no, it feels good. It feels good to be in this position. Uh, hard fought. And uh, we just want to take it one day at a time and get prepared for Indiana coming Sunday. And, uh, you know, have some good results there, get better that day, and then uh, get ready for Tuesday. So it feels good, like you said, with all the complications, stuff like that. That's the past. Um, and now we just control what we can control and get ready to hoop. Uh, for either of you, uh, what, what, you guys were up 17. What, what, in your estimation, led to that lead kind of dwindling and then them taking the control in the lead? And um, and uh, just the NBA and their pros and well coached and talented. You know, his first quarter, it was early. Um, so they got back into it, making shots. We put them on a the free throw line. So game of runs, you know, they made their run. We made ours early. They hit us in the mouth, and we, I like how we responded. So that's just been the nature of our season, just getting knocked down and, and seeing how we respond. And I thought tonight was a good example of how we can respond. Andre was saying this morning he felt like these last two games were must-wins. You guys have obviously played in some of the, the biggest must-win games in recent history, but are you viewing Sunday as a must-win given that it locks in the seventh seed and gives you two shots in this plan? Yeah, every every game that we, we uh, play, we feel like it's a must-win. We want to give our best effort. Uh, but obviously with this playing tournament, this playoff idea, uh, playing idea, uh, you know, it's been a little bit more pressure, but that's part of being an NBA and, uh, you know, preparing daily for these type of moments. So uh, we just want to come here with that same mentality that, hey, let's let's put our best foot forward. Let's put our best effort out there. Um, and like Kay said, just be able to respond to other teams' runs, not hold our head, not allow it to uh, carry over into any other possessions and uh, live with the results that way. So uh, we feel good about it. And uh, obviously, it's, it's been a little up and down. Um, but that's part of the NBA. Uh, Kevin, when you're, when you're doubled, um, you're obviously confident in your teammates. You're willing to get off the ball. What's the sort of the key to executing out of that double for, for everybody else? Is it a spacing thing? Is it just the, the, the how, how quickly the ball moves? Yeah, I think it starts with me just being patient. I think a lot of times I see an extra guy. I want to get rid of the ball quick. and. But sometimes I got to wait on my teammates to set up and make themselves available. So um, we've gotten so much better at that this year. And we've seen all different types of schemes and how, they, how teams guard me. And I think my teammates are understanding um, where to be if they actually do come in double. So Bruce has been, you know, being that guy to flash in the paint and make plays on the backside. Dre has been doing a good job. Kessler, you know, so I just got to be better at being more patient, playing stronger, and just making those passes, uh, make sure those passes are on time and on target. Kevin, you mentioned Bruce. He complained to us for not asking him about his near triple-double, so maybe this evens the score. But two assists shy, four blocks also. Just what would you make of his whole performance tonight? Yeah, I didn't think he deserved a triple-double tonight. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, because uh, he talked about it at the... We didn't know, and he's like, yo, I need two more assists. I'm like, you're not getting it tonight. You shouldn't have said nothing. But, uh, you know, we all love how Bruce has been playing lately, four block. I mean, we expect, at this point, I expect him to come out here and play well now. And I think once you build those expectations up for yourself as a player, um, then that's when you start to develop even more and more, and you build that trust in your teammates. So I'm sure he'll have more opportunities to do that. Just want to ask you about Kessler Edwards and what you guys have seen from him since San Diego and him taking advantage of the opportunity uh, that was given to him. Puts in the work. He listens. Uh, professional every single day. And uh, he comes in, he asks questions. And uh, he's very attentive to the details that we're asking out of him. So for that, he deserves to be rewarded. And uh, when you put in that much work and you have that consistency, and we, we see it all the time. You know, guys get really uh, blessed in a position to be able to be with us for the long haul or be with the team for a long haul. So we're excited to have him, uh, and he deserves it.